Hello, and welcome to another episode of Lizard Tech. If I could get my microphone right here. So, today, we make use of the items that we got from the Wither. So, I set up my inventory here, and uh, I have a setup over there with some things and stuff that I'm about to show. Hmm, curious that it's filled. I'll look at that later. Farm's been farming. I turned it off. Because, as you can see, we have 88 stacks of uh, industrial hemp fiber. So yeah, we won't, need, we won't be needing that for a while. But up here, we have a totem. So yay, there's a totem. And... I didn't actually realize how tall this was. And we have this. I put Silk Touch on my shovel because we're about to get a resource from sacrificing an, a creature to this enchanting table at midnight with Division Sigil. Altar must not be lit by outside sources, and it must be made at midnight. And everything else is covered, so you can see what it needs there. It needs a redstone circle, it needs to be placed on dirt, and it needs to be able to see the moon. And it seems to have sufficient natural earth as well. I guess that just means enough dirt. I wonder if it could use stone in, like, this, this andesite. But now, is the sun going down, or is the sun just coming up? Let's see over there. It's still going to be a while till midnight, so I think I might set the time to midnight. Creeper! I did not dodge that quick enough. Okay. Well, I think we might set the time, because we, we would just be waiting here a while, and most people on the server will have access to time commands. So, time set 1400. I believe that is, it's not quite midnight, so let's do 1700. Oh, or, I guess not. Zombies, get out of here. Time set 1700. Good. This is almost midnight. Are we ready? Too early. Okay. So, once we do this, there's going to be a lot of mobs. Probably ones wearing armor and creepers. So, we're going to want to run like hell. Oh, I forgot. I forgot something. Oh, no. Skeleton. No, that's a fallen zombie. Or fallen knight. Whatever. There's also a skeleton. Uh, I need I need some blocks. Some cobblestone or some andesite or something. Oh, it's ready. <laughs> uh, we don't have much time here. Cobble, cobblestone. Let's just do that. That seems fine. Okay. Um, now, this took us a long time to get up the first time, and we gotta get up there as quickly as we can the second time. I'd really like it if things wouldn't chase me. This, that would be nice. Skeleton, out. No. No! Okay, we may have a big problem on our hands here. Dang it! This atomic disassembler is stronger than my sword, so I'm just gonna wreck their faces. Why are there so many skeletons around here? I don't believe we have a grave around here. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's probably past midnight now. <laughs> ah, you stinking skeleton, skeleton bums. Yep, it's past midnight now. <laughs> well, that was annoying. Why why are there so many skeletons spawning around here? This is ridiculous. What? What in the heck? There's so many freaking skeletons. Also, I hear an Enderman nearby. Goodbye, Wither Witch. I don't want to deal with you. Uh, is that a potion of decay? No, it's harming. I don't need harming. Skeleton, stop it. My armor's gonna... <laughs> My helmet's gonna break, and my armor's not gonna give me any armor after, after all of this. God. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? Maybe with less skeletons this time. Time set. 1700. I'm not gonna worry about that enderman right now. I've been getting a lot of ender pearls from loot bags. You know, to be safe, we could just cover most of it right now. It's, this thing burns up in daylight, so I don't really want that to be uh, a happening. Hello, Ender Mini. I don't know why you're standing underneath this. It's not going to be good for you, but, uh... No, I guess it doesn't hurt. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's ready. Okay. Let's perform the sacrifice. So first, let's check again that we can. Yes, it says perform the sacrifice. Cow? I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> didn't spawn underneath, it spawned at the sides. Just grab as much of this as we can. And also, I, did, I don't remember that sound effect ever being a thing, and that was really scary. The perfect size, I have no idea what that is. But I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab it all. check out what the perfect size is of this. Because we haven't really been doing anything with achievements so far. Look at all this cursed earth we're getting. It's gonna surely be useful. How does let me drop some cursed earth? Hmm. There's a peck in there. Goodbye, Peck. I, I don't know why you spawned. Shouldn't spawn hostile mobs. I mean, neutral mobs. Not. It does spawn hostiles. I think we've mostly got it now. Hmm. I think we could have done a a better job with this ritual, but it's fine. Seems like some of the cursed earth spawned underneath it, and some of it didn't. I think that the mod maker is trying to prevent people doing what I was doing <laughs> and covering it. Yeah, all this cursed earth. 
I've already said that multiple times, but just said it again. Okay, there's another piece. If we leave this here and it's underneath a block, then it will spread, and I don't want that to happen. Because it's kind of like grass in that way. It doesn't look like there's any cursed earth left. Nope. So now, I think we can get to part two of this episode, if this zombie would die. You know what, I'm just gonna leave. They're just gonna spawn quicker than I can kill them. Alright, good job, Sentry Turret. <laughs> A Vampiric Enderman. I've not seen any of those yet. Or, like... Well, maybe the turrets just attack any mob, not even just hostiles. And why is it still active? It's not... Oh, it's activated. It's not... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not midnight still. It's just activated. And we have this area in here. Our core is still pump pumping away, even though I think it's done. Done mining. Nice. So we got our stuff. Do we have any strawberries currently in the... Not, not, not of these. Eh, we probably should have some. Put that away. Uh, cursed earth. We can put that in here. Dirt. Berries. Yeah, I'm fine with putting berries in there. Arrows. Bones. Now... The cursed earth we're not going to use today. That's not something I need. But... This is something that we need. I guess I may as well place this enchanting table down. We won't have to borrow, um... What's-his-faces? <laughs> I can't remember any of the guys' names. I, don't, I haven't talked to them in so long. Right here, can we just put it... No, let's not do that. That's not gonna work right for us. Let's just stick it by the uh, chunk loader. Or actually, we could turn this into a chunk loader, because it's one of the pieces. There we go. So I had to do some more spiding, spider farming to get um, the silk for the silky jewel. Because that's what you need. You need to put a silky jewel on something to give it silk touch. Now... I think let's clear our inventory some more, and then I have something that we can uh, we can do for the rest of this episode. Mm. Put cobble in there. Actually, no, cobble can go in the Emmy. And safari net can go in here. Did we throw something? Looked like we threw something. So, what we need, uh, actually, give me a second to look up what we need. Hello, and welcome back. So, I now think that I have all the things that we need. Um, you know, let's go back to our hiding spot. I'm gonna go flying just because of reasons. It, we didn't, we don't need to do this, but I feel like it would be... It would be more worthwhile for us to have done this. Or it would feel better. You could say. <laughs> Actually, you couldn't, because that would, that would not be the proper adjective. But whatever. We're gonna go over here to where our hiding spot was. Hmm. We put it in the side of the mountain, right? Like, near... ...things. Okay, probably over here, because there's a bunch of toppled trees. Uh, or that's just because the tornado came through here. Probably because the tornado came through here. Okay. Huh. I don't think we... I don't think we attacked the wither in the enchanted forest. I don't know where our hiding spot was. Hmm. 
I think we're taking too much time to look now. I was just going to kind of come over here and have this so that we didn't have to plop this somewhere. I wanted there to be a reason. Oh, there it is. Okay. I want to mark this on the minimap. Okay. New. And yes, if you haven't guessed, the thing we're going to be making now is called an unstable ingot. Good name. <laughs> I'm going to get out of blaze form. That's better. So, the reason why I'm doing this over here, and not back at our base, is, uh... This stuff has a tendency to, um, explode. And I don't really want to, to blow up our ME system. Here it is. Unstable ingot. Error. Divide by diamond. This ingot is highly unstable and will explode after 10 seconds. It will also explode if the crafting window is closed or the ingot is thrown onto the ground. Additionally, these ingots do not stack. Do not craft unless ready. Must be crafted in a vanilla crafting table. Just me getting ready here. This uh, shouldn't be too hard, but when you gotta place multiple, like we're going to have to in a in a minute here, it gets more difficult as time goes on. Let's start with the first thing we want. The first thing we want is called a builder's wand. Go. Uh, I don't think that this makes any noise, so it's not okay. That was that was simple. Yeah. Did you see that thing getting more red? What I really hate about some things that um have a kind of mechanic like this speed speed mechanic is that it makes you like so. How do you describe it? You're anticipating that you're gonna. No, you're gonna lose. You're going to explode. Because it, it will, like, will make a loud sound, or... Like, in these cases, they're gonna start blinking, and... Getting more and more red, and go. <laughs> uh, we might not be able to do this one. This might be too hard for us. Ooh. Yes! Nice! Ah, uh, th those were the easy ones. <laughs> the next one we need to make needs three, three unstable ingots. It's not the most difficult of the recipes, but it's gonna gonna be annoying. <sighs> I'm gonna get my food out of my inventory. That'll be simpler. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three. Oh, that one was actually easier. Hey, healing axe. <laughs> so these items should help us out a lot. First thing, I'll show you what the builder's one does. So if I get some some things here, some cobbled stone. I believe, if my research is correct, boom! Did I just blow your mind or what? I would just place it in multiple ta multiple blocks at a time, and this still works like an axe, so <laughs> we don't need to have an axe anymore. And additionally, if you look at the food bar, we gain food while we're holding this. And it also heals things, but we don't have any other players to heal, so, unless we're going to heal animals. <laughs> also, I think that means that this does more damage to undead, because, um, well, it heals them. Actually, I'll leave the crafting table here, we don't need that. It'll make the place look a little bit better. So yeah, we didn't explode, that's good. <laughs> and now, if 
we go to F5, I have my lizard wings. Bearded Lizzie's finally earned his lizard wings. <laughs> and now the blood moon is rising. Great! None of this stuff really helps with the, us with combat except the healing axe. It does apply regeneration. Yay! My lizard wings. And this is the building that I believe I showed. You know, I should have probably checked before this episode after I found out that uh, I might not have done so. Let's recharge my armor. Actually, that's probably not a good idea because there's going to be a lot of mobs coming right now. Um, well, that was kind of going to be what I was going to do for this episode, but... There is one thing that I want to get here. There's no crafting recipe for it because it's supposed to be a creative item. But basically, it's a builder's wand, but it can place more items at a time, and I feel like you should be able to trade. Should be able to trade a builder's wand for the super one. There's going to be a trade for the server. Because I just, it's just a time saver, you know. And you've already spent the time to get the first one, it just goes a bit farther. If I had a crafting recipe, I would have made it, but it doesn't. Superbia. Okay, that's a thing. So now we have our Builder's Wand, and we have our Healing Axe, and... Yeah, our, our armor's gaining. The other thing I wanted to know is there's upgrades to this armor, so... I wanted to check out how difficult that would be. Quantum. Quantum leggings. Already, uh, we've never built these, or these, or these. Okay, great. Alloy. and get alloy. Yeah, it's not too hard. Uh, or ir iridium. Okay, osmium ore, going through the crusher, gets us iridium with a 10% chance. So that's something, uh, where was that? Glowstone and machine, oh, I've made a machine block before. What about a bot llama crystal? We need advanced control circuits, uh, Lapis dust and the normal bat crystals. You know, that's a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. Because that stuff is, like, pretty much impenetrable. What about this drill? These drills are pretty cool. Well, we already have... We already have a thing. <laughs> we already have, uh, this atomic disassembler. And annoyingly, or I should say unfortunately, this armor doesn't use RF, so there's going to be something that lets us charge ev things in the future, but we won't unfortunately be able to charge our armor because of reasons, which is, will be sad. Hmm... That was kind of my whole idea for the episode. I thought that that was going to take longer because the wither battle took so long. No, I, I know what I can do. Well, first of all, I'm going to make it time set zero because this blood is just going to be annoying. We won't go out into, like, open areas. And also, I want to get a portal gun for this, but portal guns are really expensive. <laughs> They require wither, wither stuff. What's going on here? Oh, this is where the, yeah, that's where the broken windmill used to be. So yeah, uh, I added a couple more windmills. I say a couple, and there's like, a lot here. 
I wanted to replace these wires with uh, HV wires because I don't know if these smaller ones can handle it still. Um, according to the math that I know of, it should be able to. But like the modder didn't didn't post any of the actual numbers, so it's just speculation from other people who've used this mod. Here's a cloud. Hello, cloud. I don't know why I did that, but whatever. Cloud. We needed a cloud earlier. Um, but I wanted to say some like plans for the base. Could be the second thing we do here. So I was planning on... Because um, this is the entrance, right? We're going to have arcane levitators that go up here so that we don't have to climb it every single time. And then once you're up... I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this wall off because I'll go and get my hammer because that'll, that'll take a while with just using the atomic assembler, and we're gonna expand out this area down here to like cover the entire uh, area that our wall is gonna be. So it's gonna be a giant building kind of, and there's gonna be a three by three hallway with a maintenance area with a crusher, a chest. Um, you know, just things that you need while you're building, like, just scattered around. And we can have wires running through the walls, and I'll move my Emmy system and my Thomcraft system, and yeah, it should be good once we get to that point. Hold on, uh, I think I'm gonna get a tissue, because I can hardly breathe. That's much better. Okay. So then I also plan to make a different sword. I don't want this ender sword to be around all the place. I'll show you um I'll show you the recipe for the sword I want to make. I'm gonna need the thumbonomonomicon though. Where is the thumbonomonomicon? It shouldn't be in the ME system, so it should be in one of these chests. It should be in this chest, even. Oh, there it is. Okay. There's also a new version of Thomcraft that, unfortunately, we can't use because we got uh, all these add-ons for Thomcraft. <laughs> ah, here it is. Sword of the Zepha. Oh, I can't... I haven't actually researched it. But this sword is pretty cool, and by far the the best sword that anyone's really made so far in the game. Because the only swords that actually have better functions than just being a normal vanilla sword that I know of are the uh, long swords from Tinkers and this sword. So, it's not that different. Um, we also made a Thaumium sword, yeah. So this Thaumium sword is a component that we need for that, I believe. Do we have the research note in here? No. I think that we grabbed a research note for it. Well, it shouldn't be too hard to get another one, but I'll have to research that off camera. I, I also know... I have a better idea about how to... Um, um, how to perform this research legitimately, but there's just... There's a lot of aspects, a lot of modded aspects in this table, so I think it, I think they might change the vanilla ones, or the vanilla Thomcraft ones as well, so... I can't really, uh... Why can't I think today? Whatever, I can't think today. Let's not do that. And also... I, I kind of want to set up a spawn room, so... Spawn room's gonna have to be past the wall start. And I'm thinking over here, like, where the portal just comes in from Gravaviland. Or the where the emergency portal used to be. That's this area, right? No, that's there. 
so here is where the portal used to be, so, like, we'll have to find our way back to Grovobby Land, because they destroyed the emergency one. I'm not completely sure how we're going to do that. Uh, we'll probably do some dimension jumping, jumping, or maybe, well, actually, most likely, uh, Jacob. <laughs> okay, I might... <laughs> I'm having trouble getting oxygen here. Uh, most likely Jacob has a portal, because he brought in all those other people, and I I don't think that... I don't think that they're natives, so he must have just taken them from back from the Federation, or... I would very much doubt where Bobby Land at this point. <laughs> I really can't breathe today. Okay. <laughs> So we'll have that here, it'll be right next to this, and hopefully there won't be any aggressors that come through. Especially if we're borrowing his portal, then it may be a problem. But, uh, yeah. Let's go actually and check out what's up with this base. Where, where is it? You have to turn it on, I think. There's an IC2 tree, apparently. <laughs> Weird thumbcraft thing. Quicksilver field. On. <laughs> okay. Also, I guess we could uh, set up the hungry node, but that, that's going to take a while, I think, and I don't think we have the stuff for that at the moment. But we can fly, so... Getting place is going to be a lot easier. Hello, Ents. Let's actually see if they fight back. I don't think that they do. I'm going to just punch him. No, they don't even take damage. Okay. Well, that's something. At least. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> you know, let's just teleport. It's taking a while. So the guards are still there. I'm surprised they weren't fired after, you know, like, we came in and, uh, well, they let me through. And there's a diamond sword here that I kind of want to grab. <laughs> Hopefully they don't notice me, because I don't know if they have any, like, anti-air or anything like that. They seem to have set up, like, some farms since I was last here. They, they have those berries still, and there's still that weird entrance into the underground. There's this, uh, drawbridge, and... Yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna head in there. That's not gonna be good for us. Um... Hey, pig. That's, that's, uh, Jacob's mansion, as far as I can tell. He's kind of assorted himself as the king of this area. There's this aura node thing. Ooh, there's actually quite a lot of stuff in here. I'll have all this. Ender pearl dust for portal gun. Well, that's not that's not the main component that we need for that, unfortunately. A supreme pizza. Yeah. A bacon mushroom burger. Yeah. I don't want rice. Rice, go away. But I'll have those two things. <laughs> and a music disc. Let's make a juke. Let's make a jukebox and let's put that in. That'll be that'll be something we could do. Lift the spirits a bit, even though they're not down right now. So considering we just got these awesome items. <laughs> Home. Okay. Stuff still coming in. That's good. I wonder what Jake's been doing while we were doing all this. I think I saw that that uh, Kiro and them were working on a, a new building or expanding an original building. Let's put those dimlets away. Let's get a demon. Oh, look, we got three more 
We got three more that that have come in. Let's get some wood, bridge wood. Let's play this music disc. I don't know what disc this is, but uh, should be something good. Or or not. Maybe it's just setting the scene. Still gonna have to turn the music down though. Uh, some things are much louder than others. Well, we probably shouldn't be standing like right next to it anyway. What? My my pizza just disappeared. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of I'm not a fan of that music. Yeah. I don't believe we have any other discs. Mm. <laughs> ah, we have Mall. We could also get some more music discs by, um, well, creepers. When creepers are shot by a skeleton, you get a music disc. Because maybe their TNT gets smushed by an arrow? I don't exactly understand how that works. Might be something we want to research. We still have these signs up. Well, this is some good, uh, some good music to reflect on, you know, and to imagine. Yeah, well, there's no like dance animations though, because we didn't get smart moving like I wanted to in this pack. Great. Well, for now, it's been Bearded Lizzie. Some newly acquired items and musical talent, I guess. Goodbye, everybody.